We are back at Culver Academies after the second day of Notre Dame's fall training camp. I'm Jack Nolan with Notre Dame defensive coordinator Brian Van Gorder, and I know it's just the second day, but are you seeing from these guys what you would hope to see after two days on this field? Well, that's a kind of a yes and no question. Um, yes, I think the guys have moved along, the veterans have moved along, and they're schematically more responsible, more familiar with it. Um, but, you know, the idea of consistency right now, which expect in a day two is uh, is something of concern so that's what we've got to continue to preach and we've got to get consistent good play we've got to get more productive plays and that'll all come i don't again i don't want to overstate that being practice too otas in june a change for college football did that help you maybe get off to a little quicker start down here oh i think so i think we use the otas well and it was another chance for our guys to, in a new system, maybe more important to us because it's a new system that they were learning. I, I think there were, um, it worked well for us and it was advantageous. New system and a lot of guys with new roles. How is that coming together as you approach the season and guys taking on a new and very important responsibilities on this defense? Well, I, think that's, I think, Jack, that's the battle you're in is, is when you have a new system and you have new roles and you're trying to encourage those particular roles uh, from each player. He's in the battle of learning the system, new language, new terms. So sometimes it takes a little bit longer for, for them to accomplish a, a, a particular roles. Hey, the idea of leadership, they're still battling that because they're trying to get systematic consistency from themselves. So, you know, that'll all come along. Um, again, I like, I like what I see after a practice too. But those things that we got to continue to be stubborn with and keep talking about and working on are important. In talking with your players, they're very excited about your scheme, the aggressiveness of that scheme. What has to happen this month for them to have the success you want them to have with that scheme? Well, they got they've got to get comfortable. They've got to they've got to be able to be they've got to be able to go out and play fast. And that's really the goal of all football players. So a great being real familiar. There's adjustments and those kinds of things that have to take place that they've got to be on top of and, and sight quickly and be able to communicate. And, and when they get a comfort level with all those things, now you have a player that's playing fast. And that's, that's when I think our scheme will, will become more effective and exciting for them. I know it's just two days in, but I also know you evaluate each and every day and you look at film of this session as well. Are there guys now where you're looking and saying, you know what, I like that, I like that? Um, cautiously, yes, I'd say, I'd say cautiously because again, you know, with the amount of practices we have leading up to the first game, I know I keep going back to that word, but consistency, can they come out and do it every day? Now, we've got a little bit, bit better feel for obviously veterans that have played and been through this. But some position change guys, and certainly these young guys, you know, you just, you're not going to know. You're not going to know that for weeks. Thank you very much for the time. All right, Jack. Thank okay. you. You guys have a great day. Thank you. That was Brian Van Gorder. I'm Jack Nolan. Watch ND in Culver. All of our practice reports are brought to you by St. Joseph Regional Medical Center, official wellness partner of Notre Dame Athletics. Yeah,